Just tell everybody about tell them, tell them about it. I do. I, uh, you mean now Royce? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is my uh, life, which is a very interesting part of it. And uh, I could uh, mention uh, many things. I was in medicine uh, in the Army for five years and uh, I took care of uh, the x-ray department in the emergency room and was also on troop transport. And after five years of discharge, I uh, was uh, asked by the doctor at the same Army hospital for the work for him. And uh, so I went to Woodstown, a farm town, a population of 3,000 that uh, needed a doctor and, and a paramedic uh, was invited there uh, to do the x-ray work and take care of people in town. I was fortunate enough to bring a man back to life that got uh, in a painting suicide, painting a, a flagpole, but he touched a high tension wire and uh, I resuscitated him back to life. And uh, uh, a month later, I brought a, a three-year-old baby into the office and uh, the doctor wasn't there and he wasn't breathing. And uh, I took the baby from the mother. I said it should be in the hospital. And uh, I resuscitated him back to life. And uh, I didn't things, and I, even my own son had acute appendicitis during the night, and uh, I did a diagnosis on him to have a uh, appendix uh, that was quite uh, involved, and got in touch with the surgeon, and we took him to the hospital, and his white count was 21,000, which meant that he had something severe going on, and uh, he decided that, uh, that that's probably right and he took the appendix out, and he said he had one of the biggest appendix uh, that a child at his age could have. So that was a big thing, and I went and uh, did many of these things in the middle of the night. <laughs> when, uh, uh, my apartment was above the office, so I used to answer the night phones and all that. And, uh, I have pictures here of my uh, wife, uh, with her bowing girls and pictures of me. I was also in the uh, horse business. My daughter and son-in-law lived at Speedway, and uh, one of my son-in-law's clients uh, referred to uh, me as one of his patients, uh, has horses, and it, they had a horse for sale at that barn, and uh, I went and worked at Max Bruce. He was a little horse, but he was a good horse. And uh, I bought him, and he uh, raced in North Jersey and made a name for himself uh, as a horse. Uh, I have my army pictures there, and uh, the wedding pictures, and my bowling uh, uh, trophy that I got for a bowling championship. And uh, I also, in my spare time, I uh, uh, did work for the veterinarians. I uh, did their x-ray work and x-rayed their horses and treated them with the machine that I used to have for treatment of uh, injuries uh, to their joints. And, uh, and all in all, uh, I had a, a wonderful life. I was married for 50 years to my wife. And uh, I also... Uh, uh, later, I got sort of lonesome, and the uh, uh, person that I, I used to work with uh, in our office, uh, we spent 12 years together, and uh, we had a nice life together, and uh, she's still in that house. Then I had this bad accident uh, where I fractured the 11 ribs and uh, was put in an emergency hospital for two months. And they eventually sent me to a, a center to, for rehab, and uh, they kept me for a few months, about four months. Then I was transferred to an assisted uh, living uh, center, uh, and that was the, wasn't quite right, so I was transferred to another one, 
and that wasn't quite right. And I finally was transferred to, to this one here, Zionville Meadows. And this is the most wonderful thing. It's, I can't say it's, I could say it's home because it feels like it, but uh, the people are wonderful, the nurses are good, especially uh, Laura, she's uh, wonderful. And uh, Cindy, who runs the area, is a, a girl that really uh, has things just right, and everybody's happy, and, uh, and I'm happy also. And I'm thankful that I have a nice son-in-law and grandchildren, because uh, they, they've helped me a lot in performing some of my duties that I wouldn't be able to do. So, uh, Thank you for everything, and if I might. Joyce. And my daughter Joyce, uh, of course, she's the one that made me, really, because she comes to see me twice a week. She does my clothes. She brings me the goodies. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and now today, uh, my son-in-law and her, and my grandson and, her, and my other children, we're going to have a dinner together, and uh, that makes it nice. I'm surprised that I was so lucky to get so close to assisted living quarters. Like, uh, my daughter has about a half an hour to get here from her home, and my son-in-law is helpful by letting her do it. So I'm thankful to him. And uh, my grandson comes to see me every now and then when he feels like <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds great. Okay, and uh, thank you for everything. Uh, but if anybody needs a assistant living center, Zion Little Meadows is rated number one. <laughs>